recently picked up a product that helped me with my paddle park situation on my Wilderness Radar 135 and I'm going to show it to you right now. Hey, what's going on? It's Matt. Uh, you know, I wanted to share something with everybody that uh, might have issues with parking their paddle and they have a pedal drive, or even they don't have a pedal drive, but on the Wilderness Radars 135, the paddle park situation or the paddle holder on this kayak really isn't solid. On one side, if you do have the pedal drive, you do have the steering mechanism, so you can't park your paddle over there. On the other side, the bungee uh, is very, very hard to get on and off. Now, it's a small and minor thing when you're dealing with the pedal kayak. However, what I have found when I fished the California Delta, there's a lot of time that my pedals are up and kind of in front of me. And paddle management is something that I have to kind of get used to on this particular kayak. So I picked up this, and this is the Railblaza Quick Clip Paddle Clip. And uh, it, is, it is track mounted. And you know, I haven't seen a lot of people do reviews on these things and I wanna kinda of show it to you right now. So let's just look at the situation that I have with my kayak when it comes to the paddle park. Now I just mentioned on this side, I have the steering mechanism for the rudder. So you can't really park a paddle over here anywhere. And on the other side, which happens to be my right hand side, here's the paddle and it's actually in the park right now. And one of the issues that I have with this boat is that you can see the indentations right here but like you can't rest your paddle on it. And so you have to bungee it in. And there's been a couple of times where my paddle's just kind of fallen into the water. I'm kind of getting sick and tired of it. Now, you'll see that I do actually have the uh, Yak Attack paddle holder, but I use it to park my net and keep it in with, within its arm's reach. But you'll also see that if I need to get my paddle out, it kind of knocks this off because it kind of overhangs. So one of the first things that I am gonna do is I'm going to learn to start netting fish with my opposite hand and put that over on this side. But it still doesn't solve the paddle problem in parking it easily. Enter this. So this is rail mounted uh, and I've never really seen rail mount brackets like this. Kind of get a good angle for you, but it's universal. So you don't need to buy a track adapter or anything. And what I've I plan on doing is, I plan on kind of just wiggling this in and sliding it in, uh, getting it to the spot that I want it. It might even be a little farther back than that. And how it works is it just snaps right into place. And the good thing about this too is you only need one of them. You don't need two like the Yak Attack. The Yak Attack Roto paddle grip holder is awesome for holding a net though. So that's what it looks like when it's actually mounted on the side of the kayak. Uh, and like I said, I'll move this roto grip to the other side, but I'm hoping this really solves my paddle problem and being able to park it and access it easier than I have been currently. <laughs> so that's it, that's just really what I wanted to show you. It's the Railblazer quick clip paddle clip. I'll put a link to Amazon down below. I think it's about $18. Pick one up if you have paddle parking issues. This is gonna hopefully solve some of my problems. Just a quick video today, talking about a product I just found. Hope this helps you if you have the same situation that I have. Have a great day, bye.